good morning guys it's 8 44 in the morning we're getting our day started so it snowed last night gorgeous and beautiful day beautiful view out there gorgeous so i want to show you guys what i set up here i picked up these at the dollar tree okay these um suction cup hooks so i have three right here on this side right here and look at that beautiful view ain't that gorgeous i wake up to i wake up to a beautiful view every morning everywhere i go <laughs> it's amazing so um yeah so i put these up here and i decided okay so i just need to get like a um a piece of string on the sweet grass because this one was falling a little bit but this is so perfect so i have my on the go little station here where i could definitely say my prayer and i could definitely bless my organite so i like to definitely wear organite because this is definitely very protective of very negative energies dark energies it's very beautiful i got this in grand junction actually a very nice shop i can't remember the name right now but i'll see if i can try to get the info and remember so what i like to do is i'm going to be actually seeing if i can get actually also some crystals on here as well my forged crystals i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to get my lighter and i'm going to light my sage and this way I can just kind of sometimes when I'm in a rush I can just light it right here okay so that oh my lighter just kind of slid off that like armrest so and this way I can also do my rose quartz my other crystals and my purse so this is how I'm going to get my day started so I'm gonna do the sage first and then we'll do the sweet grass. I actually got this at a thrift store the other day. So that was pretty awesome. So this is my setup. This is an idea. So the next additions I wanna get is I wanna get some Palo Santo I'm thinking hanging. And then if you guys have any other ideas of what else I'm thinking, I just, you know, it's so funny. I had like a stick of wormwood. It's somewhere in, it's somewhere in this car. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully it's not like, on the side it might be on the side of my bed i don't know but that was actually originally here but i needed a new stick of sage ready to go so thought this was pretty sweet just to inspire anybody if they want to try this who also is traveling and in, in their car really good idea okay so this is just how i get ready in the morning so i always like to bless my crystal i actually have some cream on my face right now so i need to get that off there i know it kind of looks a little weird so i just have that on there it's actually it's mederma to kind of like get these dark spots taken care of because yeah yeah that was uh really annoying so i'm just gonna go ahead and just put my necklace on and then i got a new hat this hat is nice and tight because all my hats keep getting like loose around so it's really snowy out there it just snowed but it's actually still um it's still humid out there so it's not like really cold like it, it like it's gonna get which is gonna be in the negative but honestly this winter is really I don't feel it's that cold because um from what I remember Gunnison well I remember it being negative 17 and then like they were like urging me go to Grand Junction like it's too cold out here like you know I, it's not as cold as it was in Colorado so I thought this hat was adorable I got it at a thrift store I'm like hell yes I get some at the thrift store I go ahead and then I wash it and it's all set up for me so yeah so we're gonna get started today I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say a prayer I didn't realize that this was all like rolling up so I'm in my starry pants today I thought would be so cute to also wear I'm like yes okay so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna um say our prayer here at, I'm going to light a little bit more of the sage and then I'm going to light actually the sweet grass so I'm just lighting this a little bit earlier and I'm just going to really pray I just feel really thankful this morning thank you so much God for this beauty I know that things have changed here in Colorado but as long as you know we stay strong through all these changes going on and we trust that you're definitely going to come and fix what is going on here. I definitely have faith in that, Yah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything which you have provided me. Thank you for always getting me to my destination safely, Yah. Thank you so much. So I just had to go ahead and say that prayer. I'm gonna go ahead and also light my sweet grass, which brings in such a beautiful energy. I 
I love the smell of sweet. It smells so good. So good. Amazing. So I think, oh wait, did, I don't think it went right. There we go. So I just wanted to make sure the sage was done. such a good energy that you'll feel after the um after you like the sweet grass which is sweet so I gotta go ahead and I'm gonna get like my skin together but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the CD I got which is so sweet so I have got journey into the mind this uh CD here I got it at their store brand new I got it at Goodwill it was not open and check it out they're from Crestone Yes, they're from Crestone. Lee Ann Phillips and uh, they're also Villa Grove, which, oh yeah, I think that's close to there. I think it's on the way to like uh, the Poncha Pass. So it, it talks about the soul star. It talks about who I am. Um, I, I thought it was very beautiful. It's a very, very beautiful. It's awesome. The beauty of who you are. It, it's a lot about forgiveness, which is very sweet. So it talks about, like, you are now connected to the energy of the great central sun, the heart of the universe. And then it's just positive, beautiful energy. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that today when I go and I work in the library. So that is something we'll bring with us so I could chill in the library and, like, just have it, you know, quiet and stuff. So, yeah, so this is a typical morning for me. I meditate in the morning. Um, kind of get my morning started a little late. So a little update on my boots. I got my new boots, but unfortunately I'm going to need to sew the side of it. It's got some, like... I don't know it's like kind of torn a little bit so we're gonna figure that out and yeah yeah I think it's gonna be great <laughs> so it's gonna be a really good day you know that's just gonna put that energy out there just just waking up with a positive beautiful day so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have breakfast so um I'm getting back on my raw my diet I don't like how I'm, uh, yeah kind of feeling a little soft because I'm, I'm a little blown I've been off my diet I've been bad I've been bad for a minute so gotta get myself back together plus we want to definitely eat raw i was thinking oh you know what i've been i've been actually i haven't been cheating for the past few days i've been on my diet but i was thinking of getting some mexican food last night i love mexican food some good mexican food some chips and like all that good shit salsa but i'm like damn so i did go to my diet the past few days but i gotta do my diet today because it's gonna get cold so i want to definitely have my body like my thermogenesis prepared uh, it's already pretty good. Last night I had a good amount of ground turkey, so I made a taco salad. I should have definitely like recorded that, put that on video, but uh, yeah. So that's my day. My day's getting started. Um, gonna go ahead and finish everything else I'm doing, brushing my teeth and, and morning stuff. Yeah, all the more, all the morning stuff. Yeah, so that's what I, I do kind of in my car. So that's yeah. So that's part of my lifestyle. So I got. I'm definitely gonna be working out today. Um, it was a lot having to kind of travel to the city, so I kind of that's kind of got me a little off my diet, but we're gonna get our shit together today. So I've got some raw eggs, I've got some fruit. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna have, I am so excited. We've got some beef heart. We're gonna have some beef heart. Let's do it. Oh my God, guys, I have to laugh so hard. Okay, so it's 5.33, 33, like I keep on seeing 33, so it's already kind of leaking the blood. I'm like, oh shit, this bitch is big. It's a big old motherfucker, damn! Holy moly! Holy moly moly! Oh my god, it's fucking huge. It looks alien, doesn't it? Whoa, dude, it looks so alien. Oh my god, look, there's blood right there. Holy moly! <laughs> oh god, okay, okay, are you guys? Oh, oh, it's oh, I just, I just looked at the clock. Like, when I'm recording this, it's 33 seconds. Like, holy moly. You not seen 33? Like, what? Okay, so I think when I had just told you guys the time, I was like, I think it was 844 or I don't know. Like, I keep seeing numbers. <laughs> so I've got my other three raw eggs for my breakfast. I want to also show you guys, I got these cool towers. So with these towers, I have the, I, this is awesome what I did. So I put in the apples. I put in some raw cheese, which I cut into cubes. I then put half of that raw honey some oranges so this is like completely ready to go to eat for breakfast eat during the day and then with the raw honey I just like I like to just kind of eat that with my finger like maybe even dip some of the fruit in it and then the apples with the raw milk cheese delicious so this is definitely some cut raw primal food prep that I have made this is an idea to inspire anybody like for a really good raw primal 
breakfast or snack. Another thing I'll also be filling in here will probably be some olives. So I have some olives. I got some fresh, um, forgot the name of the olives, but yeah, some olives. And some, it's just amazing. You can also put your raw organs in here. Amazing. I love these. I got them at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. So yeah, this is what I've got the leftover oranges in. So if you finish half of it, you can like save the other half and throw it in the fridge and boom, you're ready to go. For me, it's the cooler. That's my fridge. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I slept at a gun range. I know it's a little weird, but I'm at a gun range right now, I know. But I'm at, like, just kind of randomly somewhere I can get my car in. Because, uh, yeah, so I would need, like, four teams for my tires to come through. I don't know it's a little weird, but it's peaceful. And uh, it's a nice cloudy day, so I'm like, okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, so this is the water I'm drinking. I'm drinking this, so um, I'm not alcohol. I don't drink this often, but I was like, okay, I, I like the bottle. I like to use the bottles, to like, re, you know, recycle them. So, kind of going to be drinking that. So, for my breakfast, what I'm starting with here is I'm starting with some oranges. I have some leftover oranges here. Okay, so I'll have some of those. And I'll also have some raw honey. last night so I can't wait to get this diet today because it's gonna wake me up so I'm gonna get out get in the cold probably take my jacket off let myself be cold so I can wake myself up because I actually do love being cold anyways in the first place it's actually not even that cold out there but I'm kind of gonna need to get myself a little cold wake myself up here um, so my bed is tilted because the position that I'm um, parked is tilted yeah so I sort of love this group. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually be um having the rest of these oranges when I have the rest of the beef part. Okay, so I'll go. See an orange. Oh, oh. Yeah, these are USA oranges. They're like small navel oranges. This was frozen before. Okay, so you guys don't need to worry. You don't need to worry about all oh, the bacteria and all the, oh, yeah. So I'm frozen for. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start cracking my eggs. I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to start having some eggs. Yes, this is beautiful. Oh, you know those eggs are on? So I got some of those. I'm going to make it started. So I would definitely want to um get on a walk before I go and I start working and like putting you know stuff in the library and then I'm like trying to figure out where I can build a Quincy yeah but I do know a spot actually, I actually know several spots actually but I just want somewhere like peaceful yeah mm. so good Look that sugar's waking in too. Woo. Yep. Okay. See how this egg, it still has like the feathers. This is like small. And this one has the good speckles. So farm fresh. These are Amish eggs. So I'm, I'm still, I, you know what? It's so, I, I actually, I should have not got rid of the boxes, but I think I can look it up online. So um, they're in Monte Vista which is in the San Luis Valley, I guess is where it says that they're coming from. Yeah, that's where it says that they're, um, that these eggs are coming from. So I'm actually going to start off my morning with six of these eggs. So to kind of save storage space, I'm going to come back. put just three in the bowl at a time so yeah so we'll put three that way I don't like overload the bowl with six of them so I know I know me I'm a Libra I'm chatty that's why I'm like okay let me let me let me stop let me 
I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna stop when I do this vlog stuff. <laughs> I like to talk. I don't know. I just, yeah. And I'm lonely. I'm lonely a lot. You know, I'm really, yeah. So this is like my time kind of where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna chat. So my egg's going. I haven't had these eggs in a while, man. So I thought today, let me not do it like cracking it and have it come down my chin and then come all over like, you know, <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to have that happen and then I have like, you know, like egg white all over me. So, and I know I just kind of just got on camera with like my McDermott, you know, like, 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 I'm like, I don't know. It just looks weird the way, like, I, I don't know. It's like, oh, it's so weird. So. Yeah, so that so that honey was very delicious. This is very good. Definitely gonna help my stomach with how bad I've been. I've been eating that. Definitely gonna help my stomach. I think because uh, <laughs> I I notice that when I don't eat this way, I just don't feel good. I don't. So like, I really want to just stick to eating this way mostly because this is how I feel. I feel the best eating this way. So definitely, my iron levels are doing good. I've been eating. I'm gonna say I've been eating red meat just about every day, but I have to because of the blood loss. So like pretty much I'm not concerned about like, oh, iron overload, you know, whatever. I know my skin is looking like, it's not looking anemic. I know that like, I'm not feeling super anemic. I know this is definitely gonna help. So. I might actually, for this one, I might actually throw, no, maybe I won't. Because the thing is like, the, the, the egg white, I think like is actually the, it covers the yolk. And it actually does kind of, it actually does strip your iron absorption because I know like, for a while I couldn't eat eggs because my anemia being so bad, like eggs does definitely lower it so like, the truth is I really should honestly be probably like putting these egg whites like but I don't I'm not gonna waste it you know because it's like six dollars per thing so like that's why it's kind of like you know but if I got rid of this it would definitely help more with my iron absorption because this is going this is what will strip it you know kind of so anyways other than that that's my breakfast I'm gonna go ahead I'm actually gonna begin to start cracking um three more eggs in there and then we're ready to go. We're gonna go out, we're gonna have some of this beef heart. I'm like, I'm gonna have some of this shit in nature. It looks so good, it looks so good. <laughs> okay, so before I have these eggs, I also have a bite of this truly grass-fed butter, which honestly, this is what, this is gonna be kind of the closest that I'm gonna get to raw milk butter, to be honest. Um, Cause like I'm in Colorado, it's, it's a federal crime to have raw milk. I have a couple bites of this, which is gonna be that good fat, definitely for the cold out here. So this is how I definitely stay warm. So I wanna give tell you guys something else. So actually, this is insane. When I went to do the cold plunge, the, the first day I did that cold plunge, I did it a long time. I had actually um my six raw eggs that morning and I, I felt like I could stay in there forever. Oh, like ma'am. But um the next time I didn't have my raw eggs, I couldn't, I, I couldn't really do the cold plunge. I, I couldn't really do it, you know, as long. So I found that to be very interesting. Mm, very good. Mm -hmm. So food bites for that. 
past few days I ate uh, keto, more of a keto uh, based. Cause you know I'm sw I switch my diet around and I eat this way like I'm trying to eat this way three times a week, sometimes more, especially with my adenomyosis and my blood loss with the periods, because I have to make up for all that, which this has definitely been helping. And I think this big bad boy is definitely, definitely gonna help. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to tear into that. <laughs>